Welcome to Season 2 of our playthrough of the Battle Brothers Legends mod. We just finished our cultist run for now, and we'll showcase a different start uh, as we go through our Season 2 here. Um, unfortunately, the nerf to cultist events has really put a damper on our progress uh, with our last cultist run. It's making it really hard to actually succeed. Um, you might as well just choose a different start, because if you're following with us, we got ourselves three conversions and three sacrifices in a hundred days, which is just abysmal. Um, so I can't really recommend playing cultists on Legends mod for this Blazing Deserts expansion. I really can't. Which is sad to say. But I can recommend, if you want to play cultists, you should revert your save, your, your game back to 1.3 before Blazing Deserts came out. And you should go on Nexus mods and get the 1.3 version of Legends mod. And that will put it back to its original stats for cultists. And it's so much more fun playing that way. Sadly, you miss out on some of the expansion stuff for uh, Legends mod. Uh, with the Blazing Deserts. But if you want to play a good cultist run, it's still got so much content in it. And it's so worth it. Um, but we'll move on. And we'll go to ourselves assassin run and we will get our this is a lone wolf style run where if you die the game is over just like lone wolf uh, one of the benefits we have is we get a small chance of finding other assassins for hire now this uh origin was designed before blazing deserts came out so it's not the southern assassins like you've seen before it's a different type it's the fancy assassin that's a lot stronger um the other benefit you have doing this run is everyone gets camouflage for free and camouflage is like a short-term indiv invisibility so you can stay invisible for three turns um it's very it's gimmicky it's not super powerful but it can be helpful in certain situations and hopefully we'll be able to showcase that um as usual we're going with a map seed that we've scouted out to give ourselves a nice uh start uh, the late game crisis was random last time when we played, and it gave us nobles at war, so to not get it again on accident, we're going to go with greenskins just to switch it up. And, as usual, we don't enjoy putting ourselves with a higher difficulty of economy and starting funds, because it just slows the game down too much. Um, it reduces your stash, it reduces your food, ammo, meds everything and if you reduce the economy difficulty increase it i mean um it reduces the amount of healing and repairing you do so it's going to take you like days to just repair from one fight and that's not fun like we have to have fun when we play these games we can't just play it on super hardcore um just to prove that we're good we can have fun <laughs> now with the combat difficulty with playing cultists i highly recommend veteran experts a bit too hard for cultists Getting into things like Lone Wolf and the easier starting Origins, we could maybe push it to Expert, but the scaling is really hard late game. You'll get wiped out by all sorts of things. So in the spirit of fun and the spirit of enjoyment, we will go with Veteran. If we find it way too easy late game, we might push an Expert run sometime in the future, but we're okay with Veteran at the moment. And sadly, we can't do hardcore Iron Man stuff because Beta is way too buggy at the moment. It really is. We've had a few crashes last season. Fortunately, it didn't break our games or break our saves or anything, even with our backup files. But, yeah, it's just not worth it. So if you ever want to play this specific uh, beta at the moment, try and save whenever you can and get multiple saves because randomly you'll crash through fights. It's usually the fights that crash, so auto saves help. But, yeah, see how you go. Uh, with the changes of the map... We've done something different this time. We didn't go vanilla completely. We've added an extra faction, and we've added some more settlements from 3 to 4 factions and 27 to 35 settlements. It's nice to flesh out and add a bit more um, life to the map. Gives us more quests, gives us more places to get recruits from, and gives us an extra faction in case they hate us too much, you know. <laughs> then we don't have to worry about that one faction. Uh, we like the map explored, we like decked out citizens, and we like trade buildings available. It's good just to have all the options, and decked out citizens is just amazing. It gives almost 
every Citizel, uh, what is it, like, Weapon Smith, Armor Smith, and sometimes Fletcher. It's so nice. We're doing the usual as well with the last bunch of settings. Uh, we're keeping Dynamic Perk because it's a love-hate relationship we have it. Because we love it having the individuality, but then we suffer by not having exactly the perks we want. So, you know, you can do it as you want, but it's cool to have individual characters. Layered Armor we're liking a lot. Uh, equipment Scaling and Recruit Scaling we don't care too much for. Distance Scaling, we haven't utilized it too much, but it is still there in the back if we need it. Camp Tutorial just saves a bit of time. Leads and Kills is explanatory. World Economy has not been buggy. We haven't seen a big difference in it, but I'm sure it has been affecting the game nicely, so we will keep it. Uh, recipes Unlocked we didn't use any last time, but we will hopefully use some this time. Uh, Legends Magic is so much fun. Uh, if you followed us last time, we had the cultist with necromancy skills, and we were summoning skeletons. It was rather useful and really cool to see the change of gameplay with that. And as usual, sadly, Theranthropy is still very buggy, and I do not recommend playing with it just yet. Um, but without further ado, let's move on and get into it. Uh, the loading screen will take a little bit longer than usual, but that's alright. Um, I have been mentioning the game is buggy. It's still pretty stable, but you just can't be too careful with it. Um, it's slowly getting updated over time. Uh, in the full time that we had in our last season, about the last week or two, uh, it's been patched once. So, I mean, we're waiting on a new patch soon, but it's mainly just patching the bugs out. And slowly, then slowly but surely, we'll get through all the bugs. So, we just have to be patient. But I'll go through this as much as we can with you, and show you what's available. And we might even jump back to the 1.3 update uh, later on, just to showcase the cultists if they don't change that. If they don't put it back to its normal stats. Because I like to have a good cultist run even if it doesn't let us play Blazing Deserts. And sometimes playing the Assassin run, which is my favorite, uh, to do dagger builds with the Assassin. But unfortunately, with Blazing Deserts, it's hard to do dagger builds with this. Right, let's get into it. Welcome to our Lone Wolf, also known as our Assassin. He is not going to be dagger build, like I just said, um, but he has another option available to him, and that is high initiative, high melee skill, and high melee defense, which all adds up to using a fencing sword with lunge and being a duelist. So that will be good for us to have duelist, lone wolf, fencing sword, uh, clarity, or... Um, I don't think he gets Berserk, does he? No. So he'll probably just have to go Clarity. But we'll see how we go. I think we'll do well. But one thing you notice immediately as we've been showcasing this is we only have access to three brothers. That's not much of an army and not much of a battle. So what happens with the Avatar starts with Legends mod? is you get these perks along the side of your main character to increase your roster size. Now you must be thinking, why waste perk points on a roster size when you can just get a just get a start that already has the roster size? That seems like four levels wasted. And that is technically true, it is four levels wasted, but it's not as bad as you think because in Legends mod, the maximum character level is now up to 99, and you're not limited to just 10 perks at level 11. When you go past level 11, starting characters like your player character, Lone Wolf, Assassin, stuff like that, will get extra perk points every two levels, which is pretty good. So you'll be able to flesh yourself out with tons more perks by like level 20, level 30. Playing late game has a higher incentive when you play with these sorts of starts. Now that doesn't just leave your basic brothers that you would join with you on the wayside. They too also have a max level cap of 99, and after level 11, they will get perk points every five levels. So even those guys will still have the chance of getting extra perks if you play into the late game. So Legends has so much stuff in it, and it really allows for late game play. Whereas the vanilla game just stops you pretty much at level 11 almost. 
but that's okay. Um, for the moment, we're going to go with Dodge, because that seems to be the best defensive perk at the moment for us available. Because we're having negative four perks by a level 11, pretty much, we're going to go a bit defensive on our character, because he's got great stats, and then go a bit more offensive as we go past level 11. And we're going to hit plus three for our squad, because three people is worth more than one person. It's just simple maths that way. And it says three there, but it says six when you get out of there. So it just has to refresh. Now, before we move on, I'll quickly show you the map. Welcome to Increase Settlements. Look how beautiful that is. We've got four factions. We've got the Antler faction up here, the Sun faction up here, the Lions on the left, and the Blue Stars down the bottom. And I think we're going to make best friends the Blue Stars. We care about them more because they're bigger and because they seem to have really close settlements together. Um, whereas all these ones up here are a bit distant, but we still probably will get poachers and stuff from up there. Now the last cool thing is, this seed comes with the three uh, southern states, which is very common. But as you can see down here, we've got a harbor. And if I can get the mouse correct, yep, another harbor. So we've got two harbors on two city-states. That's awesome. Especially for late game travel or even early game travel if we want to go down there and be stuck over here in this corner and being like, hey, let's go back somewhere else and just instantly teleport. Having a good amount of water ratio uh, is very nice to teleport around the map. But yeah, without further ado, let's put these things on him and let's go. Start getting some people added to our numbers. And there's nobody here. <laughs> Widows are rather weak and not worth your time and effort. And that is a monster fight. No thank you. We may be strong as a starting character, but we're not strong enough to take monsters yet. Okay, that was sadly a waste. Um, let's go to Streakland and then Weissenstadt, because these larger cities usually have better recruits than just your fishermen and stuff. They usually cost more, sadly. But it doesn't hurt to get a bit choosy with your starting characters. Um, that's a cheap cultist. A very defensive cultist. But sadly... No resolve rolls. Dang. That's why you go cultist. You get that beautiful resolve, but he doesn't have anything. Poacher, early on, is pretty risky. And he's got horrible stats. Okay, wow. We did not get lucky. Not a fan of Wildman. They're very strong melee style, but then they've got the worst defenses you've ever seen. And Taxidermists are interesting. They've got high range defense, and then just weird stats that are not super great. And Minstrels are very good support characters. But you need them to have high... Um, what is it? Fatigue and high resolve to get the mind over body, which he has, but he's not good enough. That's okay. Try and get a nice shield. And not much else here, is there? Considering that 35, but we know we can get better than that. We can check out the quests. Uh, defending caravans, very hard to do by yourself. Follow the tracks, return a statue. That's not bad. Herbalist Grove is not bad as well. We kind of want someone with us for this. That... Beast Slayer is too expensive. This Caravan Hand is a possibility indeed. He does have Shield Expert and he does have plus two. What are their stats like? They can get up to 13 melee defense if he rolls well. If he rolls bad, he gets negative two. Should we risk it on him? It's a thousand bucks for a risk. And I don't think we need to risk it. They've got good health, good fatigue, sometimes good resolve. 
but I'm just worried about him. And he's very expensive too. That's okay. Um, we might come back for those quests. We could probably do them solo, because our starting character is actually pretty strong. But what we really want to do is we want to fill up our roster. That's the most important thing. Uh, let's put you on training for the moment and camp the night away. There we go. Oh, he didn't get the training yet. That's okay. Brawlers have good stats, but they cost a lot. Um, but he doesn't have any good stats. Uh, rat catchers sometimes can roll well. Eesh. As usual, we're finding no luck. But this brawler might be good. Nimble, battle forged. Not bad. Plus two melee skill, plus one fatigue. For that price, we can check him out. Uh, fisherman, maybe? No. Um, a lot of initiative, which is not helpful. Uh, adventurous ladies are good. Holy crap. They usually have bad attack, though. But usually you want adventurous ladies not for their attack. You want them to be a banner. But for 180 bucks, we can check her out. Oh, wow. Um... Yeah, we'll take him, too. We kind of want a militia, but they're too expensive. They keep having such good weapons. Which increases their price. Okay, what did we roll on? We got a brawler with 54, which gets him 84. That's good. He could get some better defense, but that's okay. We are happy with you, but could we get you a weapon like spears? Yeah. We could make him a spear... Oh, he's not duelist. We can make him a two-handed spear. And he has reach advantage? No? Dang. That's unfortunate. We want him to have reach advantage. Then what do we do with him? Um, what else has bonuses to hit other than spears? Swords. Two-handed sword? But you'd want reach advantage as well. Goodness me. I think he's still going to be a good spear brother. How did she turn out? She turned out pretty good. She turned out very good. Oh my goodness, she rolled high. She... She almost max rolled. 58's the best she can roll. Well done. Ultimate uh, 2H something. Holy crap. Nimble. She can even go mind over body. Uh, mind over body. Wow. Most likely two-handed sword? Or two-handed... Yeah, she's a two-handed sword. That's the only one she can go with. Pole arm's not good. Two-handed cleaver attacks twice a turn, which is going to ruin her stamina. And two-handed staves are more of a support build instead of damage. Wow, we are happy to find one really good character to start with. With melee defense, she's going to guarantee 21, possibly 31. With nimble. No lithe, unfortunately. But fearsome's good. Happy days. Uh, what about you, buddy? You are our <laughs> horrible defense. He rolled a zero on a fisherman. That's almost the lowest roll they can get. They get negative one. Wow. Great attack, though. I think we have to dedicate him as a polearm brother because that is just bad defense. And he doesn't have any defensive things. He's our dedicated polearm. arm. 
Sadly, I don't like making dedicated pull arms because they just lose usefulness later in the game. To only attack once a turn and not have the versatility of switching up to like a different type of weapon. And he'll be all right. This guy, hmm. How do we want to build him? There's no duelist. I think we were just, yeah, good spear. I forgot we did name him. Okay. We got our team. Let's try and equip them. What do we got in the store? Shield? Pull arm, but that's expensive. Let's get the cheaper pull arm. Let's get a shield going with you, buddy. We need more shields, but those are expensive. Armor is expensive. Sheesh. That's a cheap spear. I'm very happy to see that. Mm. With our group, we might just have to spend the good money. It's not good to spend full price on things. But if you don't have a choice, I mean... You don't have a choice. Oh, they already have 30 helms. That means I shouldn't have bought the 30. That's okay. Um. Oh, nice. Cheap glaive. Almost didn't see it there. Our main guy can definitely benefit from that. Glaives are a little bit better than the daggers because you get bonus to hit and... It just does a little bit more. She needs to be an ultimate two-hander, but she needs a weapon. And a shield. Maybe give her a wooden spear for now. Yeah, keep her in the back ranks, make sure she survives. Maybe give him something better than 10? 20? That's a little bit better than 10. Or do we risk it on the 65? Because it's 300 bucks. But then we can start taking fights. I normally don't like spending this kind of money. But being kitted out is very valuable. Okay, let's do this. Out of money, need some food, and need some quests. Follow the tracks, a beautiful quest to start us off. Caravan, no thank you. And deliver cargo to Goldhoft, which is out west, I think. Let's follow the tracks. Oh, hello. Forgot about this. Beasts, no thanks. Trading, no. Discover, no. 2,000 bucks. Wow, these are bad choices. I think we have to go with the standard. Okay, this will be a tricky fight. But I think we can take it. We'll try and make them have this nice choke point. Please come up and say hi to us. They're not rushing us? How rude. Should we flank? Yeah, we can flank through here. Well, let's be safe and put our shields up, and be safe by putting us behind impossible sight. And shields up. 
do a Rambo mission and come around the back. They are rolling on fives, aren't they? Sevens, that's good enough for us. And we've got time. We don't want to rush into a high ground in a one square spot that we want them to rush into. Hopefully now that we're in melee, it'll push them to... Oh, hello. Here we go. Nice. This guy's scary, though. Good kill. Nice. The pointed stick comes through. Oh, no. 45? Very good hit. Rolling 27s. That's getting a bit scary. Nice. Come on, don't miss 84s. Oh no. Yes, the 57s. Nice, come on. You can survive. Uh, I think we'll let you get the cleanup, Mr. Big Guy. Good. Uh, we'll go invisible. Just in case he wants to get shot. So this makes him visibly invisible. So sometimes it's hard to find your own guys. So if you want to know where they are, putting your mouse over it helps. So we've got him hiding there, invisible. I mean, that yellow doesn't really show well, because it's on his face. But yeah. <laughs> And now, poof, he's out of Invisible. And it's not broken in the game. It makes it work really well. But look at that. Nice, easy quest to start us off. You did get beat up, though. But we survived. And that's all you can really ask for. Is to survive. <laughs> Didn't get too much out of it, though. But you can't expect too much in the beginning of the game. Now we're good with our four people. Uh, nothing to sell. Caravan to Kattenhoft to the west. Oh, that's all the way up there. We kind of want to go back to Streakland. They had a couple of quests for us. Or we can go cargo to Gold... Uh, Goldhoft over here in the side. Hmm... Maybe we'll jump up to Veril first, and then come back to Streakland. Monks, no. No, okay, we're good. Trying to get some quests done. And get some food, maybe? Yeah, cheap fresh meat. This stuff's good. Fresh meat and fresh fr fruit. Nice cheap food that if you're gonna eat through it, doesn't matter if it spoils quickly. It's a cheap militia glaive, but we need to be a bit careful with our spendings. Mm hmm. Check the quests. Caravan to Streakland. Yes, we do want that, because that's where we're going next. Ruined wheat fields. Actually, yes, we'll take that too. Are we healed up? Almost. Let's put our careful people that we want on training, and we'll put you on healing to increase the healing by 100%? Yep. And doing this quest at night isn't a bad idea either. Oh sweet, we won 100 bucks. Uh, I don't like gambling too long. As long as you win once, that's all good. Nice, we're all healed up. Ready to go finish this wheat field.
middle of the night. Hopefully it's bandits good. Uh, we should wait. Hopefully they'll push against us. Nice. Dang. Good kill. We want his sword, uh, his spear. Hmm, where should we put her? Probably up here. One, two, three, four, two. Okay, there's no way somebody can jump to him. One, two, three. No, because that'll push him through that square. Okay. We're in a safe spot. Aha, he will try and flank there. What? Rolls an 8 out of 22 in the middle of the night. Don't want to lose you, bud. Nice kill. Nice. Pointed stick comes through again. Uh-huh. Called that. Goodness me. Don't kill him. Wait. Move up and kill him. Because they're running. Dang it. We don't want him to hit him. He's already bleeding too. And you're the only one with bandages. D Mr. 95? Oh, thank goodness he missed the 46. Good. Mr. 91, of course. Bandage him up. What? Save yourself or another character. Oh, he stopped bleeding. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, let's catch the archers before they run. Good. And we'll catch that archer before he runs. Sweet, we got everyone. Without dying. It's living on nine health. <laughs> Good job, bud. Feisty one, aren't you? Nice. Good XP all around. Almost 200 for these guys. Level up. And not really any loot. But that's okay. Let's get that nice level up here. Good spear. We want his defense to roll, don't we? And I think we're wanting stamina on him. Yeah, we are. Because he's got really good health at the moment. Uh, which means we want him to have Colossus and Recover, I think. And maybe Pathfinder. And maybe Brawny as well. But I think Recover is a definite. But to keep him alive early game, let's go with the defensive perk. Ultimate polearm, we don't care about your defense, because it's disgusting. Um, then what do we roll? I hate polearms, because you don't have a good third stat to roll. You've got health and attack, and then they only attack once a turn. Um, and they don't need resolve because they're in the back line. Then do you give them just, like, initiative? Or because we want to be fearsome, 
we give him resolve maybe um or do we go with the rotation so he gets fatigue there's so many things you can do with it but he max rolled on his melee skill which is awesome you can't attack twice a turn but you can rotate you don't need resolve because oh, but maybe fatigue so then he can rotate with people Anything else he can support with? He's got Rebound, which is amazing. If he ever needs it. He can Camouflage, which costs a lot of fatigue. Double Strike is amazing. Quick Hands, Cleaver Mastery, maybe? Yeah, we could do that. We could make him a Polearm with a Whip Disarm. And go full-on fatigue. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, because we've got to make him useful somehow. Ultimate polearm whip. It's never enough. There we go, whip. Never enough letters. Capitalize the W to hopefully. There we go. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll need recover. Uh, backstab is another very important one. Hmm. Backstabber first. Ultimate 2H. She rolled max on there. Very nice. She already has great resolve, so we give her hit points the entire way. Give her student. What a beautiful start. And we are happy. Easy crowns. It's one way to say it. We're a little beat up though. But we can take the quick easy caravan without having to heal up because it's so close. Town to town caravans when they're next door is so nice. Look at that, 150 bucks for walking with this guy. Um, nobody new, just a cripple and a cheap-ish caravan hand. That rolled horribly. Okay. Fortunately, all the quests are still here. Uh, we can get ourselves some cheap meat. And that's got five days on it, so cheap fruit as well. Look at that. Nice food. Shield. Spear. Yeah, we can upgrade her spear. Spending a little bit of our earnings, but an extra spear. Wooden spears are only good against rabble, but it does get you through the rabble stage. But after rabble, it just really doesn't do anything against armor. 45% on that low damage roll is kind of sad. But that's A-OK. -okay. And which quest shall we take? Ruined Grove sounds good. Should be easy enough. Um, we still need to heal, though. So let's just sit ourselves out and heal. It's a little slow, though. Oh. This is to get the dead man's fingers and toes. Um, if we roll well, we can get 500 bucks for it. It's worth the risk. Oh, we got it! Yes! That is a very nice event to start us off. But it's not guaranteed. That's the hardest part about that. It's not a guaranteed 500 bucks. You're fully healed. We don't care about your initiative. Uh, we'll take the quest. Ruined Herbalist Grove, 250 bucks. And of course it's spiders. Why wouldn't it be spiders? I hate spiders so much. 
They catch up to you so easily. Let's go here. Let's go here and get the high ground. They run so fast. One, two, three, four, five spaces. Nice, that's one kill. Beautiful two kills. Oh, we might just win this. Okay, they just completely wrecked us there. Now, early game, even our best character is rolling on a 72 to break out when we can roll 82 to do damage. It's just better to do damage. Um, she's rolling on a 56 to get out, but a 78 to hit. Uh, he can survive. I don't want her to die the most. Oh, come on! Good kill. A free ally? Uh, we kind of want to move an attack, but then we kind of don't, but we should. Headshot. Why'd you go for the head, girl? Good kill. Wow, I can't believe we beat spiders. <sighs> spiders are way too hard to start us off, but we had really good start. We had really good characters, good shields. The spiders missed a lot of their attacks. We had a good high ground. We got two gossamers, which is the more valuable. Poison lands are not that fancy. So we got 100% drop rate from those spiders. Very lucky. Ah, oh, swamps are so slow. This is on two times speed. And this is on four times speed. The most recent patch of the Legends mod allows faster mod to work, which makes you go faster on the overworld if you choose to do so. By going three or four times faster. By hitting number three and number four. It's very nice to have. In our last run, we didn't have it for the first few episodes, and it was really slow wandering around sometimes. Good XP, though. I can't complain about XP for that fight. Now, we would go four people, but we're not at six yet. The next level shouldn't be too long away. Plus, we really want Lone Wolf. I know it's separating our main guy from the party, but it gives him so much more damage, uh, not damage, but ability to hit and defend. Oh, max roll on the fatigue. Nicely done, bud. Now, I think we go... Cleaver with polearm. There's not too much he can get, so maybe we go Colossus this early? Yeah, I think Colossus is a good choice. Keeps him alive, too. 82 health that early is really nice. I think we'll go Gifted or Colossus with her. Probably Gifted. Um, let's heal up and camp. The training was really good to get 20% XP on that fight for every single brother we got. And everyone gets it except for a severe concussion and a sprint. Can I please read this? Reduces the risk of accidents from a minimum of 5% to 1. Why? Why? Why do you guys hurt yourselves so easily? And severe concussions are the worst and take so long to fix. Wow, we can't take a fight now. We'll take a delivery. Mirwick, or we can go tracks. I'd love to do tracks, but we have no ability to do that yet. And no caravan. Let's take a delivery. Severe concussion. It's horrible. 
We have some money to try out people, but 600 bucks is so expensive. Anything we desperately need? We're okay for food? Yeah, we're okay for food. Nothing here for us, unfortunately. Yeah, we're good. A little bit of money. That's a cheap fisherman. Not worth it. Hmm. Please be a delivery. No, that's monsters. Nope. Let's go down here. Say hello to a citadel. Maybe they'll have something for us. In terms of, um, recruits or... Wow. They've got nothing. But I mean... That's interesting. Do caravan hands get good resolve? I mean, they can max out at 47, but min out at 27, so... <laughs> Their average resolve is about 35, which is pretty good. But fatigue... Initiative, 2%. It's got nimble. I don't think it's worth the risk. That's so expensive. No. What kind of beggar costs 315 bucks? Must be the best beggar in town. That's a nice piece of armor. As an attachment. You might just get it. Look at that, we're untouchable. 105 armor. Ooh, she leveled up. And Max leveled her um, melee defense again. Min rolled on the melee skill, that's okay. And Min rolled the health, come on. Nice. And she's going to end its sword, I think, because she can get Forceful Swing and Bloody Harvest. Yep. Just like last um, season, we're going to get ourselves a very nice two-handed swordsman. With Nimble, in interestingly enough, this time. Last time we had ours as Battleforged. Um, but yeah. Let's see how well this works. Mind over body, just like last time. She was swinging for 9 fatigue a turn on her basic attack, which was just insane. And 17 for her split person attack. Horrible rolls. Mason, no, not worth it. Hmm, we gotta get some quests. We gotta get this concussion fixed. One to four days. I don't think we can wait that long. But we can find the lair for free. Oh, and that's monsters. I mean, whilst we waste time, a long way to the southeast. Ouch. But it's money. Southeast, so it's probably behind these mountains somewhere. Climb the mountain for a little bit? No. He's afraid. Do we have a paranoid person? No, he's just afraid for no apparent reason. What? That's weird. Come on, Necromancer. Southeast of where we are. Thank you. Oh, it was right there. 
no way are we ever going to take that. <laughs> Maybe when we start getting stronger. But necromancers are just bad news. Uh, running out of food. There we go. A little bit expensive, the food here, but we're now back to a good amount. Uh, let's go check this little town, see if they've got a quest for us. They do. Oh, that's a vagabond. Not useful. Caravan three days. No. Good spear. Concussion's fixed, though. Hmm. We did just buy food. Um, but these are spoiling in a day. So if we... I mean, we can do a three-day caravan, but where's it going to? Schneefels. All the way over here, eh? Excuse me. Um... They're paying a pretty penny. We'll take it. Quickly sell the crappy food that's dying. And we'll pick up another cheap ground grain, so when we get there, we'll have food that we'll keep alive with, even if it is nighttime by accident. And yeah, that should be good. We're all full health. We can take one of the fights if we get attacked on the caravan. And the longer the caravan, the more chances of you getting attacked, for sure. Almost missed the town there. Uh, fisherman, maybe? Ugh, clumsy. Triple range defense with iron lungs. <laughs> Dang, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, this. A uh, guy fornicating with a horse. Or a dead horse. Uh, we saved him and he didn't want to join us. There's a chance that he joins you, so it's a free brother. Um, with a very funny backstory that he just... You find him fornicating with a horse or whatever, which is stupid. But I mean, a chance to roll on a brother is for free. I guess we'll take it. But unfortunately, we didn't roll. Because he just went, screw you guys, I'm going home. It's going to take us a few days to get there, so... Hopefully it is worth our while, though. Oh! Wow, we got attacked already. Right next to a city. Couldn't they kill him for us? <laughs> the militia's not like it used to be. That's 12 enemies. Uh, we need to kill that dog. He's taking our high ground. What? Oh, dearie me. What? Maybe we need to reconsider taking that high ground. We'll wait. Hopefully they rush us down here. Okay. Weirdly enough, they want this flank. Good kill. Come back here. They never really like this guy, do they? He gets to 1v1 whilst everyone goes for our weaker guys. Good. Oh, but that means someone else can jump up here. <laughs> the, the baby dagger. Nice. Um, how shall we do this? That gives us the high ground. That ties up these two. That ties up those two. Probably the better choice. Missing 70s. Come on, guys. Good kill. 
High ground. Good. Keep doing spear wall, man. They care about the donkeys more than killing us. What? No, that's not where I wanted to go. Oh. Yeah, we can put ourselves in a little bit of harm's way. Because we want them to not run away. Yeah, because he only brings out his dagger. Nice, and he's gotten scared. Don't you steal my kill. Thank you. Cheeky caravan hands. Look at all that XP. 12 enemies, and I think we killed 11 of them. 78 bucks, sweet. Good fight. 12 enemies this early on. You wouldn't expect to beat them so easily. But we did pretty good. And you're rolling alright, I guess. Not amazingly, but alright. Um, and to help you out, we should probably give you Backstabber. I think, inadvertently, it's not said in the game, but everyone who joins you gets the Backstabber perk as well. Because if you can see, specifically on this spot here, all of our recruits have the option for Backstabber and get Camouflage for free, which is really nice. It really fleshes out the characters that really don't have the skills to pay the bills in our group. Especially that Spear guy. Houndmaster, maybe? Wow. No tier 6 abilities, eh, buddy? Ah, uh, tier 6. The bane of our existence. This is interesting. Wolf's Bane is in the game, yet we don't have Theranthropy on. Hmm. Interesting. That's pretty cheap. We'll take the two cheap armor attachments, eh? And now the people we care about can wear even better armor. Look at that. Running on 95s. As long as they don't get hit in the head, they'll be fine. But even then, getting a 30 to a 45... Oh, it's an upgrade. And it's for fairly cheap. Nicely done. And we're doing okay for food. That was a good stopover. Starting to look like a nice little unit of four guys. Three guys in a girl or whatever. Oh no, I hate this. Is this the one with... Oh no, it's a troop. No, we don't need it. I thought that was the one where they have the cell whores. That's a horrible event. But that's the troop of entertainers, um, which is not as bad. You can spend money to make all your guys happy, but we don't need that at the moment. Another cheap adventurous lady? Um, for 54 bucks, we can just see what she is. And she's pretty useless. Yeah, the other adventurous lady we have is amazing. This one, not so much, so we say goodbye. Uh, pull arm plus four plus four plus three. Very nice. Nicely done, bud. Um, should we get the recover now? Yeah, recover is probably the best choice to do now. Not like he'll need it, but in order to not waste it on a perk we don't desperately want. Max rolls with the four. Max rolls with the three. Min rolls with the health again. Oh, we wanted to go mind over body. Why did I not forget? Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> but wait a minute, why go mind over? I know why we're going mind over body. 
Oh, that's two levels wasted because I was being forgetful. That's okay. We're allowed to make some mistakes here and there, aren't we? We have a fortified mine, and we're now at a nice resolve. At least she has a little bit more health than she would normally. That's okay. Mistakes were made, but she'll still survive as a really good character for us, regardless. Uh, Tomb of Many Crows. No. No, that sounds like Necro, and it sounds like Undead, for sure. We could take a location, but a location that's not undead. <laughs> food is not doing too bad, but we should get this cheap food first. It says for five days. That puts us for seven days. Nice. Nothing here quest-wise. That's a fortification. That's a village. Let's go towards the village. Only one quest. Tomb of Many Crows again. You both want the Tomb of Many Crows. Wow. Um, what a waste of an area for us. Mining camp in the mountains, and then that's just hard to get through. Um, we're going back. There's really nothing for us here, except uh, what we should do is quickly check for... The recruits. Because that is a lumberjack, which can have good stats, and he does. Oh, but he's got no tier six. I think we're seeing a trend. A very depressing trend. I'm not going to waste that kind of money if he doesn't have tier six. No Nimble, no Battle Forged. Uh, ranged character? No. Miller? Rolls really good defense and resolve. Uh, nimble. What's a Miller's defense look like? Up to a maximum of seven. <laughs> Faint-hearted, club-footed, no. Taxidermist? Uh, stats are actually half-decent. If he rolls well, no, he doesn't roll well. <sighs> Why did he roll good on his stats and not have tier 6? No, it's not worth it. 600 bucks for a guy that we don't care about. Okay, out of the depressing woods into somewhere else. We should go back and get some good quests. Um, that's a nice cheap 55. That's another nice cheap 40. Wow, we're rolling good on the um, armors, aren't we? That's an expensive 65. But it's another cheap 40 attachment, which we can have for the newest guy if we ever get someone new, which we will eventually. Um, and 56 bucks for a cheap cap. You can wear it, you can wear that. Repair that on top of a 35 eventually. Yeah. We're starting to be very nice, powerful four people. But we just need these four people to start doing quests. Okay, what do we got? Triple fatigue and one defense with shield expert. But that's 345 bucks. And fishermen can only get a maximum of 11. No. You're not worth being tanky. Okay, what's the quest? Caravan three days northwest. No, we need fighting quests. As much as caravans are fun. 
Three days is a long time to not fight. Oh, I think we found a fight, though. Excuse me, three days northwest again? Abandoned cemetery. Oh my goodness, no thanks. No one to add to our party. But there's a fight. In swamp. Um, please chase us, but please chase us up the mountain, maybe? Because I'm not fighting in the swamp. I'd rather fight the mountain. Um, I might eat those words. Is that the best I can do? I think so. Wow, they're running? You were the guys that wanted to fight us. Okay, we'll keep the high ground to us. That's a thug. He is dangerous. Let's go here. 1v1 the thug. She's got enough defense, she can take them. 90 or 95. Why not go with a 95, eh? Oh, 74. Come on, man. 70. Two 70s missed. Nice. 81. I hate it when it does that. When it gives you that giant black screen because it changes levels automatically for you. Come on. Kill him. You didn't get a single kill, Mr. Assassin. And you call yourself an assassin. Maybe you'll get this kill. I can't even click on it. There we go. Okay. This is some XCOM crap. Rolls a 100, rolls a 99. That's statistically impossible. <laughs> 160 bucks, though. Good fight. Good fight. Good level up. Max defense. Very nice to see. Um, recover, possibly? Because we are going stamina. And then Brawny's pretty good because we're going to go... Oh, no, we can go Nimble. We don't have to go Brawny. But we have to go Recover. No, we don't like these quests. And there's nothing here for us, so we'll go down this way. These swampy cities are a little bit annoying. But we'll live with it. Um... Roll on the cultist for resolve? Ooh. With mind over body, with... No rally the troops in tier 2. How depressing. <sighs> uh, brawler with good stats. Hello. Nimble as well? With also Battleforged if we want. So many weapon masteries. Uh, recover if we need it. Okay, yeah, we'll take him. 
a grave robber for that price? Grave robbers have pretty good stats. They just usually cost too much. Yeah, let's check them out. Really defensive. Um, they don't have the best defenses. But if only that was a three attack, he would be godlike. Dang it, man. Another brawler? No, he only rolled a one. It's not enough. Killer on the run. Oh, a medium? Hello. That's rare indeed. That's a magic background. So as we were saying, Legends Magic, to randomly get a rare background, that is very rare. Um, killer on the run, maybe? No, Dastard's bad. Oh well, there's two mediums. Three mediums. Is there an event on? No. Why are there three mediums? That's super rare. And they're all the exact same price, too. But different, in a way. That's fine. Crazy. We're spending all our money. We shouldn't spend all our money. But this guy's good. Not used to finding good brawlers. Because they don't always roll well with their stars. Um, this guy will be an ultimate two-hander, or if he fudge, wrong button. Yeah, he has duelist. But that means he needs to roll well in his fatigue. Nimble, duelist, recover. Decent defense. Not the best attack. He could be a sword duelist. He's got 86, which is good. Doesn't have gifted. Backstabber is always nice. Um, Indom's not bad. Rebound. No, he doesn't need rebound if he has recover. Underdog. Quick hands, maybe. If he went 2H, he could go quick hands, for sure. Bloody Harvest. He could be a two-handed sword. We already have a two-handed sword person, I think. Yeah. What would we do with you, buddy? You've got too many options. But having Duelist is very rare, so we might go Duelist with Double Strike. Yeah. He already has good health. Muscularity would be good if he had two-hander and went more health. But here's the thing. Rebound with Battleforge, he could have so much armor. And still swing every turn. But no Pathfinder. Hmm. You've got a lot of options, bud, and we're very happy to have you. Ulti something. Um, I need to check his rolls. Check rolls. Because if he rolls really well on his first fatigue, we'll go with the duelist. If he rolls really well on his first HP, we'll go with two-hander. But if he rolls both good, then I think we'll just still go with the duelist, because... We're happy either way. We really are. Good to find another good character on our team. What do you got for quests? Delivery is not bad. Another caravan. Why does everybody want to go caravanning? Schlemzim. Where the heck is that? All the way over there. No. <laughs> Stop giving us such crappy quests. We need to earn money. A tier 3 quest this early? No. Yes, we'll take the gold. Delivery for 100 bucks. Our food is doing wonderfully. Oh, no, that's not good. Please tell me the caravan's with us. Oh, it is, good. 
Oh, that was going to be a bit scary. I like fighting Knackersers, but they've got 80 health in this early in the game. That's bad. Um, we'll just be pretty lame and have big guy fight. Uh, we'll wait. And we'll hide behind these guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll be dicks about it. We, we really don't want to fight this. At least not fairly. Good. Now you guys can fight and die first, that's fine. Uh, let's get these guys to jump up, come on. There we go. You guys fight. That uh, still glitch is happening, unfortunately. Where, even though you can see them in the bush attacking someone, it doesn't reveal them. But it's okay, it's not the worst glitch in the world. Oh, he's gonna steal that kill, that's okay. And you're standing on the corpse. Smart play, bud. Mm hmm. Okay, now we can rush them. Good kill, buddy. Good skill. Good uh, kill steal. We'll wait. Jump into here. Yeah, kill him. <laughs> They're all broken. Okay, good. Let's move up. Let's not be too cocky, though. I don't want him to run. Yes, that broke him. Good. I'm really glad that these guys took the fall for us. Yeesh, what did he hit? Rolling on 48s, man. 200 health. This is going to be a little bit of a... Oh, we're hitting all the hits, though. Nice! Good XP. Hardly took any damage for it, too. Good loot as well. Nice! We used the caravan to our advantage. <laughs> Not like they wanted us to. Doing great for money, that's okay. What's the quest? Delivery to the east in Veril. Where's Veril? Oh, it's all the way back we came. Um, as tempting as that is, we might just go south because there's probably better quests. <laughs> Sadly enough. Veril again. Man, can you quests actually have some originality to you? It's gotta be something we can do. There's still two places here that can give us better quests, and we can rotate around here. Taking up there wastes too much time, I think. Fine. Really holding a three star quest? It's 
It's not our day, is it? Cheap shield. Do we need one? No. Oh, wow, he leveled up. Didn't even notice. Now, here's the tricky decision. Should we go to get something to make us stronger? Or should we try and get the plus five for people? I think the plus five for people now is a smart choice. And then maybe next level we can go for something that gets us stronger, because the chances of us getting up to 11 people this early on is probably not going to happen. Okay, back we go. Many orc young. Great. We might have to retreat from this. That's too hard of a fight, this early on. And they're going to let us run, which is very nice of them. Thanks, guys. I mean, Orc Young are the cheapest and easiest enemies, but... We probably could have taken them. But for us to accidentally lose someone this early on, when we're really happy with what we have... They're not unhappy that we left the battle. <sighs> yeah, I think Orc Marauders are just a bit too, too much. Because they throw too many spears and stuff. Um, location quest, no. And monsters. Wow. Our luck is not panning out, is it? Oh, I hate this event. Um, I think the right choice is not the middle one. Because if you tell them you're going to hire people, and you don't do it, they get upset. So I think, um, if we only could afford it. Oh, he gets sad anyways. Goodness me, we've got, we've got five people. Don't complain. That's a cheap thief with triple defense. Oh my lord, does he have... <sighs> Why doesn't he have shield mastery? Why do we keep getting ruined by these so good... Such good defense characters that don't have shield mastery? Do we just get him to just get something that can defend? So painful. He's got nimble. Not much else. It's so depressing to waste such a good stat like that. Can't take him. Servants are useless. That hurts. The amount of times that's happened to us is one of the reasons why playing with Dynamics perks is a little bit annoying. But then we also find really good brothers at the other end of the scale and then get really happy that we've got Dynamic perks. So, you know, it's a give and take. It really is. Now, are nomads easier than orcs? Technically, yes. We do need money somehow. I think we have to take it. But we'll quickly check the quests here whilst can. Oh, and we can get the trading caravan to get involved. <laughs> We're nice people, we swear. We just like getting people accidentally caught up in, you know situations that we can't obviously control. Um, oops. Hope none of you accidentally die. 
Let's hope we don't crash this time. Now I think we'll do what we did to start last time, is go invisible. Try and go for the flank. Uh, we'll wait and let these weirdo caravan hands rush them. Makes no sense, but I guess because they have five slingers. That's why the caravan hands are adamant on rushing them. Okay. They're really getting peppered, aren't they? Don't know if they'll last even to getting to rush them. Um, we'll wait again. What's your defense like, Mr. Spear Guy? 22, ouch. You'll probably get hit by him. We'll just wait. There's no rush. It's not a fight we're desperate, especially if they keep dying. Got our little front here. Invisible assassin. There they go, they're rushing to their deaths. Good job, guys. Yeah, we'll move here. Get close enough. There we go, that's good. And we'll protect this flank, maybe. Yeah, confident already. That's annoying. We'll come up here and try and take out these archers. Wait. 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 And wait. Let these caravan hands die off, do what they want to do. We can take out three archers. Oh no, did he find me? Uh, we'll do this and take out you. Dang it. Really? Oh, really? Ah, uh, see, it does reveal us. That's annoying. That's okay. We should be able to take care of four of them. They're rolling on fives. Nice kill. That breaks these two. He's still confident? He's on ten health, man. That is a ballsy nomad. Ouch. Let's, uh, survive this, guys. Come on. Why'd you go for the headshot, girl? Ninety-four. Good kill. Because he's gonna run now. Actually, we don't want him to steal our kill, do we? Oh, double headshots? What? Oh, we're out of stamina. How are they hitting us? We're getting tired, I think that's why. Who killed that one? The caravan ant stole our kill. Of course he did. And another headshot. You hit three headshots in a row, man. What are you doing? Oh, he's coming back. Of course. Why wouldn't she go there?
Good kills. Good kills all around. Um, kind of want you to be here. Caravan hands are acting very soon. I'm worried about that. We'll wait our turn. Let's go here to stop them from stealing our kills. Can we get that kill? No, we can't. I guess we can, because he's going to run. Good kill. Nicely done, we didn't lose anybody. Got almost all the kills too, look at that XP. Sweet stuff. It's too bad it crashes the first time, but look at that Nomad Slings. Four of them, a spear, 160 bucks. We're back in business. Happy days, indeed. And a level up. Check your rolls. He went with maximum fatigue. I think that's how we shall play this. 107 really gets us good fatigue. We'll do it. Let's go with Duelist. It's nice to have a duelist. We don't get options for duelists very often, so I think it is the smarter choice. So we'll go Nimble for sure, duelist. Uh, we can always go Colossus and eventually get muscularity. But one, two, three, a weapon choice, four. Really doesn't have that many options, does he? Double strike's great, though. We'll definitely take double strike. Full force, rebound. Rebound's not too bad. Muscularity, close combat. Uh, dodge if we want to make him fast. For the moment, maybe just the health. He doesn't seem to have a big selection. He's got a lot of little perks and a very low selection of perks which makes his build very specific. Um, what did we give him? We gave him plus three, so he would have been at 56, so we'd get him to 86. We like Duelist Maces, but we might have to go Swords if he's struggling to hit things. So we'll have to see how he works out. Fisherman? No. And fishmongers are not really worth it too much. Cargo to Copenhagen. Copenhagen, two days. Wow, that's very far. Not getting good with these quests, are we? Uh, Nomad Slings are very good to sell and to use, so hopefully we get some ranged person to join us soon. But we need to cash it out, we need a good quest. Also, we're getting to the point where we're running out of tools. We might need to start recovering and um, tearing down some of these armors and stuff. Yep, it's getting to that point of the game. Didn't take us long. Uh, we'll keep one of the bows, but I think Slinger... Yeah, the Nomad Sling's better than a bow. So we're happy with just destroying everything we own. Sure thing, let's go here and see what we got first, and then maybe do a quick camp. Yeah, super expensive. Oh, uh, that's a nice glaive, but I mean, uh, we don't really need it. No, we don't want to fight monsters. Okay, so it is time for repairing. Um, we've got a lot of people we care about. So why don't we just put them all on there? It's good to train them, but 
we don't want to waste too much time. Especially if we're going to run out of food, too. We didn't complete everything we wanted to complete, but I think we need to buy some food quickly. There we go. Six more days of food. That's good to see. And now we can get back to camping. Five guys doesn't make salvage happen very quickly, does it? <laughs> um, these events are pretty lame. Just join us at the campfire guy. They don't really do anything. It's just text and lore, I guess. Okay, give us quests. <sighs> These guys aren't refreshing their quests quick enough for us. I should probably decline their quests that we already have out here. Follow the tracks. Yes, good. Finally got a quest we want to take. And surprisingly, the girls are still here. The mediums. Two of them out of the three that used to be here. Adventurous lady, eh? Very expensive. It's kind of like the adventurous lord, but different stats. Especially depending on their symbol. Um, like that one had a bow for her symbol. Means she's mainly situated to be a ranged character, even though she's wielding a melee item. Um, there's one with the dice, which we do have in our group. We have the dice adventurous lady, which is like the female gambler. And then there's the sword adventurous lady, which is more of a melee character. So they the symbols do make a little bit of a difference. Interestingly enough to see. Um, hmm... 65 base. No, we've got no money for this kind of stuff. 55 base is very cheap, though. Yeah, we do want that 55 base, though, even though it's risking money. 69 bucks is super cheap for that. Yep. Also, you're wearing a stick, aren't you? We just got you a new weapon. How did I not notice that? <laughs> That's all good. Okay, steps go southwest. Oh, it's going to be a mountain fight, is it? Hopefully it's not swamps. Ah, oh, poacher. Yes, please. Um, yeah, I'd rather risk fighting in the slate hills than on the swamps. Yeah, this is good. This is a nice way to fight. Not much elevation. Um, how do we do this? We fight for that high ground. Very nice. Uh, we'll wait. Good kill. We'll move up here. Here, and go for that. Yep, and then you take the high ground so they don't take it. Don't get wrecked, please. Told you not to. Um, who do we tie up? We tie up him. There we go. Risk a hit, but he's pretty defensive. And we want that thug surrounded, because he can uh, take a couple more hits than the average <laughs> rabble, as you can see. So picking on the easy ones, always good. Ah, oh, he's breaking our shield. Stop that. Nice catch. There you go. Stop breaking our shields. Um, yes, we can. Nice. Good catch. 
good catch of the ranger. We don't want them running away. And I can catch this one as well. Sweet! We caught everyone! That's what we like to see. Having people run away for no apparent reason is sad. But luckily we don't have to worry about them running. Nice. Double kill, man. He's still ballsy. He's not running. Playing with the levels is tricky sometimes. Oh, you could have had the triple, man. Oh, he's running. Good kill. Uh, not the best XP, but we didn't take any damage, really. 18 damage and 13 damage. Hardly a hit for a free fight. And we got layered armor. Yes! Even though I think it's tier 2, though. Yeah, it's tier 2, sadly. We already are kitted out with tier 2. <laughs> but a 15 is still something half-decent. And we can put it on this 35 for the next person that comes through. And a bit of more tools. Sounds good to us. And that's 360 bucks. Brings us back into the good amount of money. Uh, but that's what's hurting us a lot. Our... Ultimate Duelist is costing 14 bucks a day. He's costing 17, 10, and 9. So you, my friend, Mr. Brawler, and you, Mr. Brawler, are one of the reason as to why we are suffering for money. And it's mainly the reason why I don't usually get Brawlers. But we're doing okay. As long as we keep getting quests. Schmizelheim. Still over there. Hmm, let's not. Tier 2. Three days to the northeast. Provisions are given. Sheesh. Um, where do we go from here? These guys aren't cycling our quests very well. We could just take a boat down to the southern state. Or we can try and go up here. Fortifications, small huts and buildings. Prosperous city. Huts and buildings. Citadel. Stonekeep. Eesh, not the best for questing. We don't want tier threes at all. Moose were. That's over here. Why does that take three days? Ah, because the road doesn't cut through here. It goes all the way around. To here? No, it goes all the way up here. Wow, it's a big loop. That's bad. That'll get us into a barbarian fight or something. Hopefully that recycles the quest. Okay, let's just keep doing our cycle. You're back. And some orc warriors? No way. If you didn't have warriors, we could fight you. But now that we mention it, there is a caravan. And we can do what we do best which is um, involving civilian casualties. And there's footmen in that caravan? Yes, we will take this fight. Oh, we have to fall back. Come on. Dang it. We can't convince them to fight us. Stupid orcs. No, 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 no. 
Dang, that puts a damper on things, doesn't it? Orc warriors are nothing to shake a stick at. They are way too strong. They have like crazy armor on them. <sighs> we were just here. Maybe we do have to go in for the southern state approach. Or just take a ship to Sea Dock. But there is a new quest here. Westerholtz, two days to the east. Caravan. Takes us to a village. Not the worst quest. There's a lot of new characters, but we don't have the money for it. Food's provided. We're running out of food. I think it's our only option. Okay. Okay, here's a trick. Do we lose reputation and get some money? Or do we keep our reputation? We are suffering for money. Yeah, morale reputation decreases slightly. Sorry, man. We sadly have use of money more important than our reputation at the moment. We're still neutral, though, because we've been done nice, some nice things. Our renown is really weak at the moment. Sadly. That's enemies. Oh, we got through here at night time. Couldn't check out their recruits, but we don't have the money for it anyways. Oh, Nazar crazy. Oh, the militia killed them. Nice job, militia. You did your job for once. It's rare to see them do their job. Oh, hello. Milkmen. And milkmaids are one of the best fatigue characters in the game. Except for the fact that their other stats aren't that great. <laughs> but they've got great fatigue and great health. Um, and they cost 11. Uh, I think our next goal for the next episode, we're getting slowly close to the end of the episode, which is alright. We've accomplished a lot, we really have, and it's a lot faster this way than it is compared to the cultist start. 264, that's not worth selling. Should sell it at the southern states or something. Selling your treasures at southern states is so worth it. Absolutely worth it. Three days northwest. No, stop going north. Two days northwest. Tanistat. Where the hell is that? All the way there. Come on, guys. Give us better quests. Nice cheap attachment, but we don't have anybody to wear it. Let's save up our money. Go south. I think we'll have to go here, here, cut through here. And then go to a seven state. Oh, or take a free easy fight. That's even better. Come here. Well, we found the graveyard that they wanted to do quests with us before. That was easy to find. Is that a poacher or a rabble poacher? Stop moving around camera. Rabble poacher. Normal poacher. Okay, so the weaker ones on the high ground, that's fine. Uh, we'll just wait to see if they do anything. They are not rushing us. Okay, let's rush them. Uh, yep, go for it, bud. As long as you don't break my shield, we're happy. That's two spaces away. Sweet. Um, where should we do this? Should we do it here? Yep. Here and... You don't need to recover, but you can. And we'll go here. This is our little lineup. You're the dangerous one. But I mean, if you kill both of them, they're not dangerous anymore. 
Aha, that one's dangerous. Not anymore. I think we're doing good on our threat um, assessments here. Threat management, pretty much. Uh, we'll wait so we get the extra bonus. Good. Oh, so close. 95 to get you. Good catch. We don't want you running away, guys. We're missing the party. Only person we haven't caught is him. There we go. That's everyone except for that guy. Good, we caught him. Happy days. Good kill, and good kill! We took minimal damage, nice XP, our little assassin party is doing well, and we got a 65! Wonderful! And we got the two-handed axe, 100 bucks, beautiful fight, hopefully we get more of those. Nice resolve, nice attack, could have been better defense. But we will have to live with that. Um, two-handed... We were going two-handed sword, right? Yes, we were. Because the other options you have are nothing. Except for cleaver mastery. Quick hands, cleaver, we could. Hmm... What do we want more? I think with her stamina, we're at going mind over body, aren't we? Oh, and we don't have recover. That seals the deal. Yeah. Without recover, it's 100% a bad choice to go cleaver. So let's go two-handed mastery. Um, we don't have a two-handed sword. That's the problem like we had last time. Let's get it anyways. Ultimate pull arm with the whip. We will give you pull arm mastery first, I think. You will need your quick hands. Let's give you pull arm first. Duelist, lovely maximum roll again. We made the right choice. We definitely did. It's lovely to see that. Duelist will require recovery 100%. Good to see. Now let's head back. There's the many crows. Yeah, the, both these towns really want that gone. Hopefully they're still not paying for it. <laughs> they're still paying for it. Unless it's gone, they won't keep giving better quests. Alabec? I mean, where's Alabec? Wow, there? No way. Time to go south. Another milkmaid. Don't really need her. We want to start getting a ranged character, and I don't think we're going to get any luck until next episode, sadly. Okay, let's take this. That's oh, a citadel? That's right, it is a citadel. Damn. Well, uh, actually, we're out of food. And if we go through the desert, we are definitely going out of food. 
Okay, that's a little bit better. Six more days of provisions at high usage. That's a good pole arm. For our pole arm guy, we might just waste the money for that. Yep, yeah, we'll do it. He's worth it. The pitchfork will eventually become really obsolete, but a war fork lasts a bit longer. Um, it doesn't do as much damage through armor, but it does more damage to armor. But because of the higher damage, it hits, what is it, 0 to 16 to ignore? And that's 0 to 16 to ignore. So it's the same damage through armor, but it just hits armor better. And that's sort of what we like to see. Okay, seven states, here we come. Oh, hyenas, no. No way. Please run away from the hyenas. That is a death sentence, 100% chance. Fisherman, cool. We don't have money to play around, we need quests. Selling for 314. Not so great because of the slave revolt. Drive off nomads at a location? Yeah, that sounds good. Beat down the uprising of slaves. That's pretty good too. It's a little bit more expensive. Arena's here. Alchemist is here. Cool stuff. Um, I mean the... Oh wait, we forgot to put that cool new armor on. We are a forgetful bunch, aren't we? 65 on our main guy gives 105. Beautiful. Seventy, how are you guys going? Wait. Oh, he already has 105. Okay. Then we'll give it to one of our other good girls, good characters. Let's give you the good one. Ninety five, hundred and five. 95, 95, 105, sweet! And the next person comes in with 70. Not useful to us at all. That's probably worth repairing. Um, anything else? No. Are we in a healthy condition to take this quest? Yes, but we kind of need that armor to quickly repair. So we might just do a quick camp just shortly. Nicely done. And you're all repaired, buddy. Sweet. Now, how can we do this quest? Should we do nomads first? which is supposedly easier. Or Uprising of Slaves, which is going to be a lot of indebted with some nomads. Hmm. Maybe location. What is that? Is that... Oh, it's the nice... Conscripts, eh? Uh, we'll take this at night. Yep, there we go. Nice. We should be able to take nomads pretty easily. There's only four of them? Okay. I mean... Why not? Oh, they're running? Um, that's weird. Very weird. But I mean, it is 5v4, so I guess it makes sense for them to be a bit more defensive. Ouch.
Oh, you missed an 84, my good pull arm guy. Good kill. Good hit. Headshot as well. Dang it. Good kill. Nicely done. That was quick, easy money. Two good spears, a nice sword. The defensive shield, eh, it's alright. And 50 bucks. Oh, and food. That really helps in the desert. That pretty much almost gives us food for what we spent to get here. Nice, level up with a max defense. Wow, we've got a very nice start on our hands. Um, we want your spear mastery, right? There we go. Eight fatigue to hit. Good to see. Time to head back. Thank goodness for that guy patrolling. Saves us all that monsters or whatever that's wandering around. Hopefully there's nothing there. Wow, that is an expensive nomad. Uh, shepherd. Goodness me. Uh, the time is getting a bit short for our episode. Um, so what we'll do is we'll definitely run this slave uh, fight next time. Hopefully you've been enjoying the more breezy start of the assassin, Lone Wolf, and how we've really succeeded a lot in our first episode compared to the uh, cultist run. Unfortunately, the cultist run wasn't as amazing, but that's okay. 30 to 40, 35 to 40. That's not bad. 0 to 8 can ignore armor. 0 to 8 can ignore armor. Not bad. We got a weapon upgrade, pretty much. And we'll give you the better sword as well. Nice to see. All we're doing is hopefully next episode we'll get a ranged character to join us and start kitting us out because we have enough space and we definitely have more perks we can spend on it. Um, but yeah, the nice strong start. I highly recommend it. Um, try it out for yourselves. Until next time, enjoy. Thanks for watching.